guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to Thursday. And Thursday is a busy day because yesterday I was supposed to shoot a video and I forgot for our extra video for Friday's extra video which will be having a premiere. So if you're watching this, it will be Friday. Watch out for a premiere tonight. It's gonna be a good one. So Sophie and I, Gabby slipped over at Kaylee's, so Sophie and I are gonna have to shoot the video all by ourselves without our leader, our director, our genius, our brains. Speaking of brains, here comes my amazing little girl driving the tractor. <laughs> this is the new thing, this is what they do. 74 degrees, you guys. It's glorious out here. It actually feels way hotter than that, but there's such a glorious breeze. I want to rescue little baby baby bunny. I want to rescue something too. I little just, baby baby bunny. I do too. I want to. I want something, something new and fresh and baby bunny and amazing. Are there any other animals? But no bunnies for us. You all know how the whole bunny situation happened for us. Did not go well. We're not doing bunnies. Although I do, I kind of want to move or like a summer sometimes. Do you do the, the hay? Do I do the hay? Yeah. Who rides the tractor? No, like not for the tractor. What do you mean? Do you do hay in like stuff? No. Yeah, no, no hay this morning because it's supposed to pour. Like big, huge pour. If it oh, pours, um, we'll bring the boys in. If so it doesn't pour, we'll leave them out. If it just rains a little, we'll leave them out. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. Some of you guys have been calling me out and telling me like, hey, what's up? You do not seem as happy. You seem down. You seem all these other things. Not in a mean way, like only really kind people. Hold on. And like, yeah, I kind of get it, but I, it's not because I'm unhappy. It's not because anything bad is happening. It's because I think mostly the heat, mostly the heat and I think also like daily videos, which I love and I don't want to stop at all. Like I asked you guys the other day just to make sure that we're on the same page. Not that I was on a different page because I am not. I love it. Like if I even think about not doing a video in a day, my heart starts pounding and I feel sick. And not because of, the only reason I feel like that is because I raised a whole family and they forget, we all forget the things that we did together and how we were. I want to have a story of our, of our life. I want to have a story, not for you guys, but for me. Like, so anyway, I don't want to miss a day. I don't want to miss a single day. Not because of that, but I just think like the heat is hard sometimes and sometimes, especially when nothing's happening, it's hard to come out and be like, yes, let's do it when there's nothing to do. And also, I got lots of excuses. Also, I could be looking ratchet because I need to dye my hair, which hopefully I'll do that today. Or it could also be that I've been cutting down weeds hours and hours every day of back breaking work morning. And then I take a break during the day and then I do it at night. And I don't know, maybe that's like, sometimes when it's really busy on the farm, I don't have as much energy for the video. But anyway, I will try and do better. And I know you guys were only just being kind, but I got emails and messages from people, kind, intuitive, smart, amazing women who were just concerned and wanted to make sure I didn't need a break. I think that's super kind. But anyway, now let's get to the point. The point is that this entire little area here was completely cleaned yesterday. And now there's this much poop. Like it doesn't look as much in the camera, but there is a lot of poop. I think you guys should start cleaning up after yourselves. What do you think of that, Gracie girl? Hey, cleaning up after yourselves? What is in your hair? You even have poop in your hair. The other thing worth noting is that I've seen like other channels where they've been hiding big, huge secrets, like the parents were gonna get a divorce or the parents had addiction issues or like, all these things like that are hidden behind the cameras. We've got none of that. Like we literally have none of that. To truly believe, like own it and show it and just be who you are and don't have to cover up things like that are hard in your life. Wow, look at you, big girl. Do it. I'll take Chino. Feed him far away. Every, yeah, everybody's like, Holy heck, you guys drink so much water. You go, go. You take Finn. Okay, I'll take Finn. <laughs> Look 
he knows his color. Finny, Finny, this is your color. Finn. <laughs> and he knows his name. Oh, let's do a little run. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you see the arrows. He's like, gotta put it down. <laughs> oh. Are those new? Oh, yeah, he says, don't touch that. That hurts me. Poor boy. I don't know what's happening. I need to touch it again. Don't touch it again. Look at him loving on her. Don't touch it. Do you like me to touch your cuts? There's a a part of it. That part does not hurt. Purpose. Yeah, it can hurt. Why are flies allowed to touch it then? Yeah, bad flies. It is windy and glorious out here today. Still are going to fence in that section over there. We just haven't got to it yet. Life is busy. I just told you guys life is not that busy. <laughs> but we are going to fence it in. Your girl's away. She, she's traded you in today for friends. Oh my goodness. You know why he likes to drop it on the ground? Look at him. He always says this thing where he's like, he likes to eat stuff he's pawing the ground because he wants it, but his mouth is full, so he can't eat it. But he's like, I want it so bad. Yeah, he he spills it so that there's food later for when we leave. Get out of the field, little Miss Muffet. But out. then storm comes along and get out. eats it all. Get out. Get out. One thing I've really noticed lately that makes me really excited and really happy is that I've noticed like a, a unity in our day fam, in our community, like a huge unity. I see people in the comments really coming out of their shell and like actually being themselves and really like having fun and just being them. And that to me is one of the most beautiful things on earth, watching other people be themselves. And uh, seeing people actually able to do that in our community because our community can be kind of big and kind of bossy and kind of overwhelming sometimes like all communities um, but to see people actually come out of their shell and be like these amazing people that they are inside has been so fun to watch you guys still make me laugh and make me cry and make me think and make me feel bad when I should and honestly like so many things that you guys say make me are making me who I am in our horse journey like even the people who are like stop doing that to Finn they I think about everything that they say or later when something will happen something that somebody has said will come back to me and I'll be like ah that's what they mean so if he's doing all the work <laughs> I gotta run when did you start turning into Gabby look at her Taking charge, being out there, doing your thing. If nobody helps you. <laughs> nobody helps you. Molly was there to protect you. Get out of his grain. That is not your food. You know your color is not orange. Hey! Don't you do that. Here. That's why he spills it. He's like, huh, you eat that. It's a decoy. You eat that and I'll eat all the stuff in the ground. <laughs> He's like, get me back my bucket. Oh, do you see me though? I'll be telling you off. Some people have suggested I put like tires in here. I, I can see all the sugary stuff on your lips, so don't try and tell me you weren't doing it. Um, I can't put tires in the field because <laughs> I don't care. No. Come on, Sophie, come back and help. Take Storm. Um, I can't put tires in the field because either I'm driving them in for every meal, which would be a nightmare, or I'm leaving them in here and leaving them in here. Hey, leaving them in here, I would be leaving like tires that the horses could walk over and get stuck in. And seriously, our horses are accident prone already. I don't want to leave any kind of anything in the field, right? But you guys, I got to tell you about the dream I had of Stella. Oh. I had a dream about Stella and it was like both amazing and both horrible. All right, Sophie, I'm gonna tell you the dream I had of Stella. Are you ready for it? No. Okay, so I dreamed I saw Stella, that she came back, but she was really, really small, like a cookie size. Oh, yeah. I could pick her up and put her in my, in my hands, but the, the whole point of my dream was that I went outside one morning and Stella was there. 
this little tiny pint size Stella in a cookie body. So I know it was Stella come back from heaven probably. Anyway, so Stella was there and I was freaking out and I was screaming and I was like, look at she came back and I put my arm out and she put her, her arm over top of my arm and she looked in my eyes and in my dream, she was saying like with her body and with her eyes, she was saying, I love you so much and I remember you and like she knew me. It was like so overwhelming in my dream. I was like, look it, she remembers and she loves me. And so, oh, look at your lips. <laughs> That's Chino's powder for gaining weight, but. This thing's messed up. I know, he, he broke it. So anyways, in my dream, Stella had been away. She had been missing for a long, long time and suddenly she showed up again. And guess why she showed up? Mm. It was, I had two other kids at this time and they were in grade one. So it's about, I don't know, it's later it's later in time it wasn't like right now I mean not that I'm gonna have two more kids but who knows maybe my grandkids like I'll have new grandkids and I don't know but anyway oh, I had these two kids a girl and maybe a boy I don't know and they were had to go to school and dad was also, not corona. yeah not corona it was like in the future I feel like anyways still had been gone for a long time and she came back and she knew me and I felt my in my heart so much like overwhelming loss again that she was gone but then amazed that she came back and that she still loved us but she came back because she came back for another horse isn't that horrible mm -hmm. <laughs> I know she came back for another horse and all I know about the horse is that it was a boy and that it was a bay. Not bay. Nope. <laughs> like seriously, I was like, I, oh, I didn't sleep anymore after I had that dream. It was in the morning. I woke up right after. She came back and she was like saying, you know, I love you still and I'm still a part of you. And like she knew she belonged to us, but she, and she was cookie sized, which I don't know what that meant, but. I mean, still and cookie -like. She came back for another horse and I didn't care about the other horse at that moment because Stella was back like she was there and I was so excited to see her and so overwhelmed by the amount of love that I felt from her like sometimes in dreams you feel the feelings and I felt so much love like it was I was like screaming like look at she loves me and I don't know if it's because I always struggle to see if she actually did love me I know that she did love me like a hundred percent people in their car are like what are you doing out there you crazy lady they're going slow <laughs> you know who the horse she, who i'm pretty sure the horse is that she came back for storm? no okay. it's not storm Willa? no chino yeah so i think she it was like chino. i don't know it seemed like it was five or six years in the future so chino would be 18 years old and he's a big horse big horses tend to die faster. I don't know if that's true. I know when people, like taller people, short women live forever. Taller people die sooner and men die sooner than women. But yeah, that's what I dreamed. I dreamed it and yeah, it was like a whole okay. gamut of emotion all in um, one dream. But the big part of the dream was that Stella came back and she loved me and she was like so overwhelmingly like the love that I felt from her was like heavenly. Like, yeah, Dad. that happened. I'm still standing here because I like Tino to take as much time as he needs. I would hate to be rushed to eat my food and then get that feeling inside me that I have to wolf down my food as fast as I can or else somebody's gonna take me away. Like I want him to have the time that he needs. It's just one of those things, those little things that you do to be kind to your horse and to make a part of their day just that much better. Who am I kidding? This guy's not going anywhere till he's ready and he knows it. <laughs> I'm trying to like get him now and he's like, no. And so if he has to fix everything you I do. You have to pull it down before you. I did, I thought. Oh, and as far as spilling tea in the vlogs, yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes secrets get revealed. Remember how I told you guys I don't try and alter my kids' life so that it fits YouTube? I try and incorporate YouTube into their normal lives. And well, so that happens too. Like I don't ever, 
I don't ever like get them in trouble for saying things or I, I just let them be who they are and then I edit out all the bad bits and all the secret telling bits. So I just like edit all, all the stuff. I don't I don't put that weight on them, like that weight, like, oh, shh, don't say that. Like, I just want them to say stuff and be who they are, and then I edit it out. But sometimes so it gets missed. I'm so used to um, leaning forward up hills, and we... And you do it on the tractor? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So you ride the tractor like a horse? Yeah, but it's slow. <laughs> so funny. So, yeah, Samati may or may not have been revealed by Gabby in a recent video, but I know you guys will keep her secret. I feel like we need a rooster. Sam and I feel like the chipmunks are getting in here. Also, our chickens are not laying. Only one is laying. We used to have two that laid, now only one is laying. So there's a problem. Do you guys think it's because it's so dark in here? It's pretty much all the trees not letting in any not letting in any sun, but there is lots of light. The re yeah, the reason I just filled up their feed pan two days like not yesterday but the day before, or was it yesterday? And literally something came in and scattered it all over. So because it's been a, a raccoon trying to stay in. I think it's chipmunks. We're overrun with chipmunks. I filled the whole thing. Like, not last night, but the night before. Like, it hasn't even been 48 hours. I filled no it. Yeah. Okay. No eggs? No eggs. So, something's getting into their food. That's so annoying, you poor little skinny chickens. Just joking, our chickens not be skinny. We had no skinny chickens Look here. Look how fat she is. I know. We have to kick this thing. Could be Molly. She could get out at night. I don't know what's happening, but tell me what you think. Like they're getting all the calcium they need. We give them oyster shells. They're getting a commercial feed. So I know that they're getting what they need. We're giving them everything that we gave to our old chickens. I just don't know why they're not laying. They're at the right age already, clearly. Are these non-laying chickens? No, I don't know what's wrong with them. Look how big Molly is. Yeah. Okay, so we have gone up to the house. We did our cleaning. We did our preparing. And now we're back down at the barn because we're going to shoot a video. Like I said, this video will be premiering tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to hang out with us, then you should come. If you guys don't know what a premiere is, then you are missing out big time. It's something that we do on our channel um, where we post a video and it shows kind of like a movie and we all watch it at the exact same time. So I watch it with you guys. It's so much fun. Uh, we, you can chat while you watch the video. So we come usually about 15 minutes early and we all chat together and talk. And I actually feel like that's why some of our subscribers are starting to really come into their own and be more open and be themselves on our channel because of all the premieres we've been doing. So we are shooting our video. We don't want to tell them what it is. I, I get to chop stuff. Yeah, so he's going to be chopping stuff, not fingers though. How small? Just wait, wait, don't tell them, don't show them. So Sophie and I just went down to the barn to take out the ponies for a walk, get Willow walk in and get her skinny and it started raining. So instead we decided to come I'm home happy. and eat. <laughs> Let's go eat. I always get so super nervous when cars just stop along the road and just oh, sit there. Oh, because, so I always show you guys. Because um, they'll whip out their gun and shoot them? No, because what are they doing there? Like I don't like people staring at our horses. They're probably kissing other people. They already have husbands and wives. People, Sophie thinks people come and park on our road, on the road next to us. Because that was one person doing before. How do you know? Because they kept sitting there for like a really long time every day. You think that take, kissing takes a long time? No. <laughs> I think our, our world is at war. Our world is at war. So, Sophie and I are home. Sophie and I are home. All alone, Gabby's away, Sam is at work, we're bored, it's raining inside, like there's nothing for us to do. 
We should, we should go shopping. Do you want to go shopping? Like, I kind of want to go shopping. I don't know. I need to get hair dye. Anyways, so my point is that I just spent the last entire hour arguing with people online about face masks. You did? Yeah, I did. Because in Canada, face masks just became legal. Like, you have to wear them to go shopping. So, great. Okay, everybody has to wear them. I don't know if it was like this in the United States, but people are fighting. People are saying, I can't wear a mask because I can't breathe. So the government came out with this big, huge live stream that I watched. And they said that face shields are unacceptable. They're not as protective. Everybody has to wear a mask. It's illegal to not wear a mask. But... If for some reason you can't wear a mask for a health issue or a mental health issue, then you don't have to wear a mask. So the people who are wearing masks are fighting against the people who are not wearing masks. And then people are saying, if you can't wear a mask, you have to prove it to me or you can't come in my store. And the government is saying, if somebody can't wear a mask, they don't have to prove it. Like there's just no way to make people prove it. And yeah, so that's what's happening. So I just like spent the whole entire last hour fighting about mask bullies so i want to know in the comments below honestly what is your opinion do you think everybody should have to, have to wear them whether they can wear them or not or do you think that people should be allowed to not wear them if they can't hey, i'm gonna slice your arm off i this sliced is, your arm off this is what she, this is what she did the last and hour a lightsaber sophie made Don't a light touch that part that part's hot so he made a lightsaber out of tape for the last hour and paper and paper your dad's gonna be proud of you sophie wasting all his tape so sophie what do you think do you think that people should be allowed to shop I'm bored. do you think people should be allowed to shop if they don't have masks yeah i'm not gonna lie it's cold out it's actually cold out it's also a little bit rainy so probably not so safe to ride but i wonder if gabby might want to ride so we just uh, finished our video that we did for today, for, for tonight's extra video. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. We learned stuff about our horses. We did not expect. It was crazy, amazing, and fun. Can't wait to do that one again. I don't know if you guys saw, but Gabby's home. Looking beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go shopping and get some food for this little family. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, we'll see you guys tonight if you come to our premiere. It is at 8 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. I know it's a bad time for a lot of you guys, but I hope to see you there. Don't you know that you're beautiful?